I always like Pink Floyd. Across the ocean. Hopefully you can hear that. Snapshot in the family album. The snapshot in the family albums. And this has helped me in this. Daddy, what else did you leave for me? Oh yeah, that's right. Hey. Daddy, what you leave behind for me? I like singing, but I don't know if I'm very good. All in all, it was all just a brick in the wall. You know, it was all just a brick in the wall, I tell you that. And all it was all just a brick in the wall. You see, in my heart, my heart's really exciting. It might seem like it's boring to others, but I live in a spiritual world. Outside of what I travel in this very day, you know, it's kind of like being a time traveler. You know, that's what I thought when I was talking to Ernie Toback a little bit. A little bit of workout will help you guys. I mean, I'll tell you what, it didn't take long to become strong. And you can do it too. Don't you think that you can't do it? Because you can do it. Ladies, I'm just a person. You better remember that. But I'm a gentleman first. I gotta do my nails. You know, I could tell this is a Pink Floyd day. I like Pink Floyd, and if we can hear it, I think I need to turn it up a little bit, but I don't know. Maybe you can hear it. Maybe I should move this over here. And it's nice having my own entertainment center, I will tell you that right now. I like my girls, and I like my girls. I like my girls because they're soft, they have friendship, they speak soft, they speak of love. They blow kisses. I had a wonderful time with Madeline, uh, with Leah last night. It isn't Madeline Jackson no more. She went to Leah, and I posted it on the back um, videos. Watch the videos. If you knew better, you'd do better. You know, don't say nothing that is a downer because I am the real fa father's son. You could think anything negative to yourself, but if you displease me, the father may come down on you. Please beware like this her song Pink Floyd you know when it gets to when do you think they'll drop the bomb you better watch out because I am the bomb dropper I grew up always I dropped the bigger bombs side of the kid. and you I know what always, I didn't uh, pay my YouTube thicker, premium I guess so so really commercials skip in and adulthood. I will have Contrary, that fixed but you know what I'm a normal person I run out of money sometimes when I spend a lot of money and I spend a lot of extra money this month about two thousand dollars I really didn't need to spend I was thinking about start to put a thousand away in savings and I'll finance it through my overdraft and I'll show you how to do that too and pay off your debts and stuff. Now this song right here, I turned up the music with my sister Patty and Joyce was next door and she thought it was a helicopter in the sky. Me and Patty was laughing as we smoked off of a bowl of weed right there. Oh boy, I'll tell you what. Joyce was out there in her yard. She heard the helicopter. I turned it up to 100 watts back here. Me and Patty's up there in Bonnie's house laughing, looking at Joyce and Warren Bailey's wife. Warren gives me a job the next day. It's my birthday. Warren gave me a job on my birthday and he says, get to work. And look at this, you got a little fat there. I don't know if I'll ever lose that because you know, it's kind of like a woman that had a baby. You're always going to have a little extra unless you go get the tummy tuck and stuff. And, you know, I don't know if I'll ever be able to work it out, so I'm not going to be perfect. By the kids. Right. Now, I don't know if you can hear the music, but I'm just going to sing it. Hopefully. I've got earplugs in and it is loud. Oh right. 
You see, I wear earplugs all the time, so I can't hear black background noises. And if you have hearing problems and need hearing aids, put an earplug in and see what you could really hear. We don't need no education. We don't need education. We goddamn know it. And you know what? You don't need, you don't need no thought control. Hey, people think that you can't even make up your own minds. Now look. Sarcasm in the classroom. You know, when they have teachers that are teaching bad goddamn garbage, they are garbage. Teacher, leave them kids alone because those children's eyes, they're innocent and they see you teachers. And you are goddamn condemned. I just want you to know, teacher, leave those kids alone. And by the way, anybody out there that's not with me is against me, so be fucking cool and nobody will get hurt. You like this now? I like Pink Floyd because I get goddamn speak my mind now. The brick in the wall. Hey. We don't need no education. I don't need no fucking jackass doing control. Thought control? We don't need no thought control. God gave us a mind to make our own decisions. Dark sarcasm in the classroom. You want to do dark sarcasm in the classroom? Those children are going to see through those eyes and God sees it. Leave those kids alone. God damn it. God comes like a thief in the night and he'll use me to do it. Like a vapor. He'll come and fucking get you. Teacher, leave those kids alone. And you better believe me when I say it and I start singing it because God hears what I sing. All the knowledge is another brick in the wall. How do you like me now, Bonnie? How do you like me now, Ernie? Ernie, I love you. Bonnie, I despise you, but I still love you. Get right with the Holy Father and I'll deal with you too. The rest of you, if I told you you're dust in the wind, you're goddamn ashes. God won't fucking let me waver. You know what? God wants me to fucking rule it like an iron goddamn rod. You better fucking read the uh, revelations. We're about 20 and there's supposed to be a wedding and stuff and maybe it's some kind of spooky thing with God. We'll just see on that one. But I goddamn guarantee you, hey man, what you gonna do when the Holy Father's son runs wild on you? He wants me to sing, he wants me to do what he wants me to do, and by the way, nobody can stop me. I'm not going to do nothing wrong except speak my mind, you know, thank God we've got free speech, God, thank God I have, I have gun rights because you know what, if I didn't have a gun, these people could just think they could come and invade me, I might blow their fucking brains out for such a thing. Do I have a gun? No. But if I want one, I can go down and buy one. And by the way, if you feel like you're unsafe, and there's a lot of little red Republicans and stuff around you, a lot of words to, maybe you might want to purchase a gun and practice behind closed doors what you could do with it because they have. They have. They want to attack you unsuspectedly and they're your actual neighbors and stuff. These little Republican rotten eggs. And now, hey, you can't eat your meat if you don't want to eat your pudding. And my name's John Wright. And is this not fun now? Listen, you hear that? You hear that? That's a commercial. And now, would you like to know about Cheerios again? You'll do a lot of stupid things for love. All-in-one protection from McAfee Plus. It can be. But, Mother, do you think they'll drop the goddamn bomb? Fuck yeah, they would. But you know what? I'm right here to stick my finger in it. And by the way, I'm the Holy Father's son. And there'll be ashes under my feet as well as the Father's feet because that will bring him great glory. It's written in the book. <coughs> I'm having a good time. I, I shared some time with Leah. Leah was happy, gosh darn it. 
I didn't know she was sitting in that chair, sitting there looking like she's been looking like depressed, just waiting for me to stop in and say hello to her. I used, I would tell her I'd come back as, um, as underdog, you know, but what happened was I came in as a Cooper's Air Force 727. God dang, she knew me then because she knows that I'm Cooper 727. See, I don't even log in. I wasn't even logging. I just go in and check her, you know, like that periodically. But I've been so busy because God consumes me. God consumes me where the public don't. Okay, but the public consumes me when I see bullshit. I've seen two good-looking women just walking past her on a great walk today. We don't need people down here harassing these women and stuff. And you know what? One, they're wearing black and blue clothes. Black and blue is cool. One, black is a power color for a woman. But men, hey, you know, men that wears black, they're up to no goddamn good in their fucking hearts. I mean, you can goddamn read them that way. And also, if they have a little red hat and a sucker, hey, you know what? They're just a fucking warning sign to see. And when you see them, beware. Feel them out. You won't like them. They're control freaks. And I'm just telling you the facts. They want to damage the stuff so nobody else has something good. They feel like they're, uh, you know, they've been treated bad, man. They, they're little rascals. They're, they're the red rascals, and they don't even know what they stand for. It's just terrible. Here's that song. She won't let you. She won't let you sing. They'll just smother you. They can smother you, especially if they're hiding behind you. They won't let you grow because why? They want everybody to think that you were dependent on them, and they were actually dependent on me. Or you is what I'm saying, but. I threw myself in front of that so, you know, you get the idea. Whatever. You just can't trust your family members. They think that you'll, that they have an in with you even though they could do rotten things, I guess. This is what my family seemed to thought. Heck, I don't even eat food with these people generally. The only one that I've eaten food from was Ernie and Kevin. Kevin made some chicken was nice enough to give me chicken. I mean, out of his air fryer. And you know what? He impressed me, period. He's a nice person. He's my nephew. I actually honor him. You know, I don't fear nephew Kevin. I love nephew Kevin. His older brother Mike is a piece of trash in my book. The what he said to me? Hey. Sean McNaughts will not be there, Michael Baker, when you see me after death. And I goddamn tell you I am in your nightmares today. And what's up, Rotten Hat and and, you know, you're taken away from your family. It's because you deserve to be taken away from your family. Matter of fact, I remember what this Michael Sheraton Baker said to me one time when I came to my mother's house after work walking. I came in the yard and his lovely wife was there, and I know her name, but I'll, I'll, I'll respect her not say it. Now, I come in the yard and Mike wants to belittle me in front of his wife. And he says, look, he can't even afford his shirt because I have a shirt pocket torn off. And his, his wife says, shit, he took a shit and he rolled off his pocket, fucking wiped his ass with it, Mike. You know, and she fucking, she said something. You know, Mike, you fucking shot your mouth off right in front of your wife as your wife is my witness. You miserable fuck, you're condemned. You see Michael Sheraton Baker? There was not just one witness. There was two witnesses that testified against you in the eyes of God when he seen that happen. Do you feel good now, Mike Baker? And anybody out there that does this situation to your family members, consider it done. You're condemned. God is not fucking prejudiced. He's not prejudiced on color, race, creed. He doesn't care if you're educated or non-educated.
people do people should know the difference between right and wrong and when they don't know the difference between right and wrong you know what happens to them they failed their father failed them and stuff and you know what if you want to pass the buck and sit with someone else you're lost you're absolutely lost you're responsible for your own actions and I'm waiting for this their commercial to get over maybe the song will come back on and you know what I'll post a little video. I think it's going to be, you know, about 20 minutes long. I think people like it. it. Might be entertaining to you. I like these Pink Floyd, the Wall songs and stuff. Hopefully this comes out. I will review it before it goes on. You know, if I like some of it, it's going on because, you know, when it's some of it works, all of it's going to work. And if you guys like my videos, you know, say something positive. If you don't like it, don't say nothing negative because I don't want the Holy Father to come back on you. You're in a growing mode and stuff like that. You know, and little red rascals, just think, you want to be forgiven? <laughs> Repent. Repent of your sins. If you want to damage someone's property, it's wrong. If you see somebody doing something and it angers you, maybe you should take a chill pill. Maybe it's wrong. Just because I wear a blue shirt shouldn't fucking piss you off, but you wearing a red shirt like you're a sucker sign, want everybody to stop, wants attention and stuff, it's called a narcissist behavior pattern, and you know what, you can get help on YouTube, and we can straighten it out right goddamn now, you know, and how do you like my entertainment hour, my entertainment center, because it's probably no different than what you used to get, but except you're going to get more one-on-one -on -one with the great one son and isn't that something to be nice about did you ever get here i'd like to have joel olstein come and visit me god damn it joel get your ass up here to washington state sit right down with me and meet me joel why don't you come and test me in front of everybody joel olstein because i'd love to have you i'm your dad your dad is one of my mentors or I'm one of your dad's mentors now, I just look at it this way. Shit, Joel, come on down and bring Victoria too, because I'd like to talk to you both kids, because of what God put together, I'd like to put back together again. You know, I don't want to build it back, I want to build it the way it's supposed to be, honest and truthful. You know, if you wouldn't have lies, deceit and deceit in your life, your life would be so much goddamn better. You could look at your family and friends in the eyes. You, you, can you look at your family and friends in the eyes? Because a lot of people I have, they will fucking do everything but except walk up and talk to me straight. My family members, look, I'm right here. Are you yellow? Mike Baker, hey. Look, I'm right here. And for each and every one of you, you confront your family members and you don't let their shit slide no more saith the Lord. How do you like my entertainment center now? Because this is what God wants. God wants me to tell you the truth. God doesn't want me to hold back. God does not want you to live in poverty. You know, the renegade Republican Party is responsible for the John F. Kennedy murder. These people want to steal the election instead of earning the election. You know, if you earn it, fine. But if you think you're going to steal it, no, you're not. Because all of us that knows the truth and the difference, we're tired of your crap. You know, if you don't like our country, you can leave our country. But Donald Trump, you can't leave our country. you got to be a goddamn prisoner in this country. And you know why? Because you're goddamn treasonous. you got too much knowledge in that fucking brain that you're senile in. We couldn't trust you to fucking move to another country and not given babble about military secrets that may even have truth to them. Because yours is half truth and half lies at this point because you can't believe your own talk, Donald Trump. You're crazy. And I drove you crazy, Donald Trump. Through the Holy Father and the Holy Spirit. Isn't this goddamn fun now? I love it. And believe me, I'm stronger than I look, baby. Ha ha ha. And I like it, I do. You know, I can never be retrained again. I've already seen the papers in my thing. And by the way, there's too much garbage. I'm 63 years old. Do you think they're gonna bring me back for two years? 
Jerry Wright and family, if you've wrote any statements to the Department of Phil and I, I'll be reading them. I'm gonna be reading every goddamn statement you guys ever fucking read to me when I when you come before in heaven. Jesus Christ, what have they done? Everything, I know everything. I'm not like Schultz on TV, not like like Hogan's Heroes. You guys might be like Hogan's Heroes. And you may act like Schultz. I know nothing. I know nothing. I know nothing. But you talking like that stuff is just the point of your guilt. Because you can't talk straight to means you speak with forked fucking tongue. You know, that's just the way that it is. You can't. You can't do it because you speak with forked tongue. And that goes for everyone. I use my family as a, as a prime example. And here you got goddamn John Wright with the naked truth, and I'll stick it up my nose. With a rubber hose. Like what? Welcome back, Carter. Hey, Mr. Carter. Barbarito. Isn't that fun? You should come work out with me, because if you knew better, you'd goddamn do better. You know, I see myself on the camera. I don't look that bad, but I don't look that good. I probably could do a lot worse. I probably could do a lot better. Jesus Christ, what can you do today? Makes me feel like a real man. You wanna feel like a real man? History. been a long time since I heard this but I do enjoy it and if it makes me happy it makes the Holy Father happy it must be pretty classical as far as I can tell from the Holy Father's perspective I got my coffee pot and stuff out there there's a little spent platform out there I picked it up and I threw it down and it stuck in the ground like a like a table <laughs> and it's just right over there I could film it here I'll even pull it up I'll see I'll, I'll see if you can see it it's right out there you see my coffee pot see I'm not I'm nothing goddamn special can Donald Trump do what I do fuck no you goddamn know he can't do what I do he couldn't do it today he couldn't do it tomorrow he can't do it next week matter of fact I hear it's on the 18th is it the 18th? 666, Donald Trump goes to sentencing, or was it the 20th? One of the two, but I get humor out of seeing numbers and stuff, you know, and things that happen. These are my actual swimming shorts that I swim in, so don't think these are my underwear, please. But, you know what? They can pass off as underwear. They can, I can do any goddamn thing I want now. And it's fun. I have the Sharia girl around here. I have, I have Leah that's on the internet, you know what, until she's back in my stables, you know, and gosh dang it, she was so happy after seeing me after all these months, me being, actually, God Almighty consumes me, I don't have time for a lot of people, I rush into the coffee shop, I run out if I can have fun, because I have fun with the Holy Father, what am I doing wrong, walking on the beach, playing in the sand, Picking up piece of garbage when I can. Jesus Christ, I'm the worst goddamn piece of garbage you ever seen in the fucking universe, but I am the Holy Father's son. And by the way, if you please the Holy Father, you've pleased me. Do you need that fucking telephone call now? You're on. This is the United States. Are we reaching? He keeps hanging up. They don't want to talk to me. What? Wow, I just built wow. the most amazing workflow amazing. on money.com. Did you, you hear that? Amazing. There are a bunch of amazing pre -made you see, you I could do this like Saturday Night Live. And isn't yeah. this goddamn I fun now? A lot of vendors, so I made my own form. Oh, baby, oh, yeah. 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 I've been working out already. Look. Knowing that everything's organized just the way that I like it. Jesus Christ, you should walk on the beach with me. You know, I have a fucking set of footprints that goes across the sand. I look back and there's no other second footprints. You know why? 
production because I'm the one. And, and you know when you walked across the sand and, and you had all that travel and stress in your fucking life and stuff and you looked at the sand and you thought, where was God? You know, when, you know, where, where was God? And, and, and you found out when you read that poem that it was him all along that carried you through the sand. That's why you only see one set of footsteps. Because he's carried you all the way, no matter what the goddamn devil did to you. Isn't that nice? Because he loved you so much that he gave his only begotten son to die for your sins because he found you worthy even though you were guilty as sin. Isn't that fun? And I'm going to cut this off and go to the next one.